Check out the link below for free gate course that has more than 200 videos along with this video followed by doubt sessions, previous paper and more than 250 quiz from GradeUp. Hello everyone, my name is Deepti Mittal. Welcome to GradeUp. Guys, in this video lecture, we will study database management system. So, if you are from computer science branch, you are aware of the importance of database management system or DBMS in your particular branch. DBMS comes under the core subjects of our computer science branch and if you are preparing for any interview or some competitive exam, definitely guys, you are going to have some questions on DBMS. And if you have faced some interviews, you can clearly observe and you have seen that interviews are so much interested in knowing how, whether you know DBMS or no. So what can I say that DBMS is quite important for our branch which is computer science and engineering. In this video lectures, we are going to study database management system. And in this particular video lecture, we will just know what actually a database is. We are going to discuss introduction to our database management system and we will analyze how important it is in our gate examination and other competitive examinations. Second thing which I am going to tell you in the way I will tell you about the way in which we are going to study this particular subject and third thing the books which you can refer while you are going to read this particular subject. So let us actually start with this particular video lecture which is introduction to DBMS. So guys before moving towards DBMS let us see what is the weightage of this DBMS subject in your gate examination. So, I have taken analysis of last 5 years to know whether it is important to study or not. Now, after this analysis, you only will tell me whether this subject is important or not. See, in GATE CSE 2018, that is the most recent paper, the paper this year, this question, uh, this particular subject was asked for 6 marks. And in GATE 2017, in both paper 1 and paper 2, it was asked for 8 marks. In GATE 2016, for paper 1 it was of 5 marks and also in paper 2 again for 5 marks. Let us see what was the scenario in GATE 2015. See, in 2015 in paper 1 and 3 it was asked for 6 marks and in paper 2 it was for 5 marks. In GATE 2014 for CSE, paper 1 it was for 3 marks, in paper 2 it was for 4 marks and in paper 3 it was for 6 marks marks. So, now if I calculate an on an average value for which this subject is asked on an average marks for this subject for the subject then I can say it is about 6 marks and you know that 6 marks can be the game changer in your gate examination. This subject is quite conceptual and very easy to understand if you study it very sincerely. So, these 6 marks, just study this subject by focusing, you have to grab all of these 6 marks. You are not going to lose even single mark on this particular subject, which is possible, which is possible. So, we are going to study this particular subject with that motive and going to clear each and every concept. Let us actually start, no, before actually starting with the subject, let us see which are the books you can refer while studying your subject if you get some doubts. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Up. Guys, before I tell you the names uh, of the books, there is uh, one thing I want to mention to you is that when studying or while preparing for any subject, try to refer only standard books. Just try to refer the standard books. Because when you refer your standard books, there are no chances of ambiguity and getting wrong information. Because getting wrong information is very, very bad thing. Means you prepare for something and still you are not getting any benefit. This is very bad scenario. So just try to refer standard books. Then I have mentioned here three books for preparing your uh, DBMS subject. First one is Database System Concept by Silverstatch, Korth and Sudarshan. If you have studied DBMS, you are quite aware of this book. This book is quite good for practicing your ER model and normalization concept. This particular book is having so many questions on this concept. 
Then next book is Database Management System by Raghu Ramakrishna and John Gerke. If you want to prepare relational calculus and SQL query, I can show you that this book is the best because this book contain a lot of queries on these two topics. The next book which I have mentioned here is Database System, the complete book by Ullman, Widom and Molina. This book is really good for preparing your transaction systems and indexing. So if you get some doubt, you can refer these books, just clear your concept and then again study. Let us actually start what our DBMS is. So what DBMS is? First of all DBMS, D stands for data, V stands for base, M stands for management and S stands for system. That is DBMS stands for database management system. Let us divide it into two pieces database and management system. Let us see what database is. It can further divide it into two things data and base. What actually data is? We have studying, we are studying data from very long time. You know what data is? Set of related values. That is example set of names, set of roll numbers, set of student IDs and so many things. And what actually database is? Set of related data. See. Set of name is some data, set of student ID is some data, set of grades is some other data. But these all three things are related to each other, that is they are related to some student. Then the collection of all these data is known as database. You can see here I have taken an example of set of student information. Some student ID, student name and grade. This is some set of data. This was all about database. Let us see what is database management system. What database management system is when you are going to store this data in your system, the software which helps you managing that is storing of your data, which helps you in your storing your, of your data, retrieving of your data, then that particular software is known as database management system. So what can I say about database management system? It is a software which helps me to store my data efficiently and it also helps me in retrieval of that data. One thing I can say about my software is it acts as an interface between user and my database file. That is if user want to store some database in some database file DBMS will help me. If I want to retrieve again it is going to help me. This was all about database management system. Let us move towards next thing. Guys, I told you one thing I always, uh, one thing I want to tell you that I always follow a strategy while study a new topic. I just wanted to know why I am going to study this particular topic. Why I am going to study DBMS? What is the need of studying DBMS? I can store my data. There are so many ways of storing data. Before DBMS also we store our data. Then why we are moving towards DBMS? So let us see how data was stored previously. The methodology which is used for storing your data previously was known as flat file system. What actually flat file system is? The way you store your database or data by using operating system. That is you will go to a directory, then make a subdirectory, you will make a folder there, then you will store your data. That is storing your, of your data in hierarchical files that is going to directory and then subdirectory and then storing of your data. It is also known as traditional way of storing the data. This is the way we used to store data previously. Then you will ask me, I will store data now again in the same manner. What is the problem? Yes, this idea is also good. But then you will ask me why we need DBMS? I will tell you. If you are having very small data, suppose you are having 2 KB, 2 MB, 20 MB then this traditional way of storing data is really good. Flat file system is preferred. But when you are dealing with data like 2 TB, 20 TB, then this flat file system is not good. For storing such a huge data, 20 TB, 2 TB, we need DBMS. Now, let us analyze why we need DBMS for storing such a large data. See, suppose you want to access your data. And data size is 20 
db suppose you have stored it using flat file system how you have how you are going to store it using flat file system go to a directory make a sub directory make a folder sub folder and so many things and when it come to retrieval of your data you have to remember all the things in which directory you have stored the sub directory file name folder name and so many things so don't you think it is quite cumbersome cumbersome to retrieve your data by using flat file system yes it seems cumbersome the solution which is provided by dbms for this problem is data independency dbms is going to store your data in such a way that user need not to worry about where data is represented where data is present don't you worry i will discuss this data independency in our next video lecture in this video lecture i am just taking overview why we are going to study dbms next thing is accessing cost suppose this 20 db data you have stored in your file that is hard disk that you have stored in your hard disk and when it came to access you have to transfer this data into your main memory this is the basic concept of reading or accessing data that whatever thing you want to access that should be present in your main memory then cost of accessing is quite high time will be more but when you are going to use dbms it will be less because dbms introduces a new concept which is known as indexing by using index you need not to transfer the whole file into main memory we'll discuss indexing in upcoming video lectures next thing is degree of concurrency you know what concurrency is concurrency is providing concurrent access that is simultaneous access to two or more users for a particular data suppose you store your data using flat file system then operating system is going to deal with concurrency and the method which is taken by operating system to deal with concurrency is it log the file it log the data over file level that is if a file is accessed by a particular user then another user is not allowed to use that file but what we have what we are going to do in dbms if a particular user is working on a data item in that file other user is allowed to work on different data item so by using our uh, flat file system we are getting less degree of concurrency but by using dbms we are getting more degree of concurrency that is high level of concurrency the fourth benefit is access control guys you want you have stored your file you want a limited number of people to access that particular file the way which you do this thing the way which is used to get this operation is by applying password on that particular file but suppose you want only some part of file to be view uh, visible to some user and some other part to some other user then how you are going to achieve it no operating system can't do that operating system uses two level for locking your file two level for access control either a user is allowed to visit the file completely or deny it completely but by dbms and using views it is allowed to provide access to some part and a blocking of access of some other part we will study about views in our upcoming video lectures so guys from these four points you are now aware that uh, studying dbms is by studying dbms is important and how it helps in storing of large size of data this is the reason we are going to study dbms let us see in upcoming video lecture what is the plan to study our topics and how we are going to complete our subject let us see first of all i'll start start with database design in that particular topic we are going to study how we are going to store our database in our system then the basic things are keys code rules functional dependencies closure and canonical covers lossless joins normal forms that is we are going to study the things which will lead to the better storage of your data then the next topic which we are going to study is entity relationship model entity relationship model also deals with storage of your database system into your computer system but this is a 3d way which is more preferred by a human behavior so in this also we are going to study how you are going to store your database into the system the basic topics are basic terminology and mapping constraints and designing of er model with higher normal form 
The next thing which I am going to cover is relational algebra and SQL queries. From the above two topics what we have done database design ER model we use these two topic for storage of our database into our computer system. Now this relational algebra and SQL query will deal how to retrieve that stored data. So in this thing we are going to study basic relational operators SQL clauses and nested queries and all other basic things related to it. The next topic which we are going to study is file organization. In this I am going to discuss index and all types of index and why we need index. Each and everything will be covered by file organization. The next topic which we are going to study is transaction and concurrency control. Till now we have studied about how to store your data, how to retrieve your data. Now we will study how to provide concurrent access to your database system. So we are going to study these things in transaction and concurrency control. First we will discuss about some transactions, then schedules and how you are going to provide concurrency to your system. The topics which are covered are schedules, serializability, recoverability and locking protocols. So guys this is the plan in which how the, the way which we are going to use for completing our database management system. Guys, this is the plan which we are going to follow. One more thing I want to tell you that practice is the key for your success. So when you start with a particular subject, try to practice each and every concept. Try to be focused while watching any video. When you are going to refer for a particular topic, just be focused while watching any video. If you get some doubts, comment down below. I will assure you that you will get the reply for each and every doubt. Second thing. When you just studied some topic, try to solve some question on that particular topic. Try to solve previous year questions. When you are going to solve questions on your end, then only you will get the confident. And when you get the confident, you, you achieve accuracy and so many things. You are going to score a good rank. Guys, starting is always like that. You, know, you don't know anything in starting, but building blocks. You are going to study each and every topic then building and you are going to high level. So just uh, follow one thing that put each and every step in such a way that there should not be any place for any mistake and mistakes can also can only be removed by practice. This is the thing I have followed. I just request you to follow the same thing. One more thing for calculations try to use gate virtual calculator. Because if you are going to use it now, you will be having a good habit of using it and you will not face any difficulty by solving your questions in your gate examination. So guys, thank you for watching this video and stay, and update, stay tuned and updated for more videos. In upcoming videos, we will start with our DBMS subject. Thank you and all the best for your future.